get on in here. Yes, it's gonna get cold, y'all. I'm plotting and scheming. Plotting and scheming. We're getting some cold weather coming into Western North Carolina. It could even snow on Tuesday. Luckily, I won't be here on Tuesday. I will be in East Tennessee picking up Ben and we're just so excited. So excited. As soon as I get him out of prison, we're going straight to the doctor. We have a doctor's appointment and hopefully they will put him immediately into the hospital to see what is exactly going on with his body. Anyway, I just posted on the Hot Melt Sprint group. This morning, I got up at the crack of dawn, oh dawn 30, wide awake. You know how that goes. Probably because we had dogs that were misbehaving. And for some reason, I got on Facebook. And I don't get on Facebook often, y'all. I, I just don't do it. Don't get on Facebook often. But I got on Facebook. I was killing some time. And there were some cooking videos that showed up from Tasty or something. And I started noticing, noticing that as they were putting together their batter, their batter for different recipes, cookies, or whatever it was, they pour this cup of sugar into the mixing bowl. And I started looking at that cup of sugar as if it were a cup of cocaine. Now, I've read the book. What's the name of the book? The Case Against Sugar by Gary Tobbs. I've also read Gary's book, Why We Get, Get Fat. And... They are eye-opening, life-changing books. And if you haven't read those books, you should read them. Because now when I see a cup of sugar poured into a bowl or a teaspoon of sugar or two teaspoons of sugar dumped into a cup of coffee, all I see is cocaine. Because sugar is more addictive than cocaine. Just watch yourself try to get off of sugar. You go through withdrawals. So let's decrease our sugar intake. You know how I did it for a cup of coffee? I, Robert used to call it making pudding. He used to call it making pudding. And because I would put two teaspoons of sugar in my coffee and I would put cream in there or I had to have something to whiten it up. It was probably um, some kind of I don't know, coffee made or something like that. And you can put cream in your coffee, but just don't add those teaspoons of sugar. And how I weaned myself away from it, I started using smaller spoons. Get this. I used a little, um, little tiny um, so a, a mustard spoon. And it, it was like one one third of a teaspoon and I would it, it was the act of doing two two di, two scoops of sugar and then I got it down to a salt spoon which is even smaller and I went tch, tch, and eventually I, the taste for the sugar went away the taste needing the taste of sugar in my coffee went away and when you drink strong coffee when you drink strong coffee that is full of flavor you don't need sugar you don't need sugar now the other day i was looking on amazon you know i like amazon and i saw where they have a set of spoons for people who have had bariatric surgery a set of spoons and forks and guess what they are? They're baby spoons. They're to teach us to take smaller bites. Imagine that. If we take smaller bites to our food, we get to enjoy the taste. It's when we gobble our food down and it, it gets into our tummy and we don't even realize we've eaten it. 
So let's practice taking smaller bites, cutting our food into smaller pieces, quit eating with our hands. Yeah, that's a burger or a sandwich. You have to have something to hold it together. You know, it's not like it's two chicken patties holding a sandwich together. And let's eat with a knife and a fork. You're gonna be surprised at how much slower you eat when you actually have to use utensils. Use utensils. Sit down at, at a table and, and enjoy the process. Enjoy the process. So folks, it's supposed to snow this uh, Tuesday, I guess it is, and I'm just getting, you know, getting prepared for a, for cold weather, you know, getting prepared for cold weather because I've got, that means I have to put my big coat in the car and my gloves because you never know when you might run off the road or something. <laughs> and we are, are going to pick up Ben. Yep, we're going to pick up Ben. And I can't wait, I can't wait for him to get well. That's all I'm thinking about is him getting well. Now, today is Friday, and Friday is our day to think about your relationships, to think about, you know, let's get our purses out and clean our purses out. You know, we've been cleaning out a lot of things this week. We've cleaned out our spice drawers, we've cleaned out our makeup, so let's clean out our purses and see what we can get. Uh, thank you, Leanne. Well, she, com she complimented my purple shirt. Uh, let's clean our purses out because stuff is stuffed in our purses and they get heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier. So let's clean those purses out and we're, we're going to, yep, yeah, I'm really excited. My purse is a carousel crazy. <laughs> hey, I have a, a go to dinner purse, which has Ziploc bags in it. It usually has my bag of spinach in it. It has my salad dressing and sometimes a little cupcake thing of avocado. So folks, I have a go to dinner purse and I also have a purse that I carry everything else especially when I'm traveling it's got my chargers it's got my wallet it's got my makeup bag or my essential bag in there it's got everything I need so let's get our purses cleaned out and start thinking about what's you know it's we're sort of giving you a sneak peek into the weekend. So tonight's date night. What are you doing for date night? You know? Do you know yet? It's, um, I don't know what we're doing either, but Robert, Robert went to a yard sale this morning and he didn't find anything except a pair of crescent wrenches that he, he wanted to restore because they were real rusty. He wanted to save them. He likes to save tools. So he got up and went to this yard sale at the Methodist Church right downtown. And they had a big tent, a big tent erected with all their stuff in it. And he likes to go to yard sales. I don't go to yard sales because I know me. I, I, I will not be able to not buy something. He paid one dollar. He, he all he did was fifty cents for this and fifty cents for the other thing. Bought two things, one dollar. So he was happy with himself. I can't do that. I know. It's just like I know those teaspoons of sugar going into the coffee, that would get me addicted again. And I have spent a lot of months getting off of sugar. Well a a lot of years getting off of sugar. And a lot of time, a lot of time that's, you know, been wasted eating sugar. So I don't want to go back there. I don't want to, I want to get off the carousel crazy. Because when you start with those te two teaspoons of sugar, it's an all day affair of up and down blood sugar, 
up and down. Insulin goes up to get the blood sugar down. Blood sugar goes down. You feel like it's in your shoes. You have to eat something else. It goes up again. Don't do that to yourself. Don't. Steady as it goes. Being fueled with the fat that's on my body and the fat that I'm putting in my body. And somebody mentioned, this is the last day for the multi-wand. Y'all get it now. It's half price and it will be going back to full price at the end of the day. Yep. Get your multi-wands ordered. We also have Silver rags that are on a BOGO, put one set in your cart. We'll send you another set for free. Pink rags are on a BOGO. These are great for babies. They're great for mommies. Cleaning your makeup. Yes, I'm keto. I've been keto now since uh, July. And I have been in ketosis since probably late August, early September. So... I like being keto. It feels good. Feels good to my body. It feels good to my mind. And it's made a huge difference. Y'all have seen it. Y'all have seen it. You've seen it here. I can't believe looking at me on, on my little phone right there. The difference that it's, it's making. So folks... Spend some time this weekend. Okay. Today, date night, clean out your purse, clean out your car. My car is clean. It's ready to go. I probably need to get it filled up because I'll probably leave um, Monday. Monday, yeah. Bright and early, I'll leave Monday. And then, um, yep. There's no wishing to get the keto. You just have to do it. You have to quit eating sugar. You have to quit eating carbs. You can do it. You have to commit to doing it. You have to make the commitment. I read the book and I don't have it in here. Any Way You Can by Dr. Annette Bosworth. I read it the weekend before we found out that Ben and Dina had cancer and now I'm staying with this diet to help them and to help me. A ketogenic way of living is going to change your life. It really will. The way you fuel your body is going to change everything. So this weekend, Saturday is Family Fun Day, Sunday's Renew Your Spirit Day, and Monday is a holiday. Now holidays kind of mess us up, but it's Veterans Day, so we're gonna make an, we're gonna make a little, um, we're gonna turn the whole weekend into a, sort of a, a Veterans Day weekend. Take, you know, do you have a flag that you fly outside that you haven't put out in a long time? Let's get it ready, get it ready to go outside. If you don't have one, go to the hardware store and buy one. You can go to Lowe's. You can go to your Ace Hardware. We have a local Ace Hardware that's just absolutely amazing. There are going to be parades, veterans parades. You can go to, thank you for your service. Somebody just said they were a veteran. My father was a veteran. He was a veteran of the Korean War. And I, re I remember him in his uniform, probably because I've seen pictures he got married in his uniform to my mother and um, he was in the Air Force so folks you can honor our veterans it's not you know it's not just Memorial Day stuff because that's when you honor the dead but this is all veterans this is all veterans and uh, let's post a picture of our our parents that were veterans if you've got siblings that are veterans let's post a picture let's honor them 
you know, you can go to a nursing home and see veterans. I see veterans in restaurants. They have their caps on. Um, it's just, it's just wonderful. So take a few minutes today or tomorrow and go to a hardware store and get a flag and fly your flag. I have my flag on the wall right here. Let me see if I can show it to you. Let me turn this around. There's my flag. It's backwards, but let me see if I can do it this way. Here we go. There, it's the right way. Yep, that's my flag. And that's made by a veteran, y'all. It's, it's made by a veteran. I keep it on my wall all the time. It's wooden. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So let me put my camera back up here. Sorry about making you dizzy. But I like to fly my flag. And even though it's inside, it makes me happy to be there. It looks like it's gotten crooked too. Anyway, so let's fly our flags. You know, you may not be from this country, but, you know, Veterans Day, it was the end of World War One. 11-11. At 11-11, they ended World War One. I'll probably watch um, war movies this weekend. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, but uh, um, there's a, a movie about a horse. What is the name? And they did a Broadway play about it. War, War Horse. War Horse. I love to watch that movie. It's, it's about World War I and how terrible that war was and all the people that served in that war. So folks, honor a veteran. Honor your veterans. Honor yourself if you're a veteran. I never served, but my father did. And I have cousins who served. So, there's another one in there. 11, 11, 11. Yep. That's when the bells rung all over the place. When, um, yeah, Remembrance Day this weekend. Yep. So, Learning about our history and what it has taken to stop evil from taking over the world. This is a good thing for our children to understand. We will have a Veterans Day ceremony downtown at our courthouse. We have a monument to veterans. All veterans. And, and all those who served. And we have a monument with the names of those who lost their lives. So go to a Veterans Day ceremony. Go to a parade. And, and teach your children what it's all about. It's not just a holiday. It's a day of remembrance, as somebody said. Well, I love you all. We have some things to do this weekend. So let's enjoy our time with our family, make some memories, help establish some traditions in your family, and, you know, enjoy the weekend. You can do it. You can do it. All you got to do is go online and see what's going on in your area. That's all you got to do. You can go, I mean, the other day I was, where was I driving? I don't know where I was, but I saw a, a military cemetery that I had never seen before that was full of, of white tombstones all in a row. It was absolutely beautiful. And I, my stepfather was a Marine, yep. So let's honor our veterans. Post pictures of your, your family members in their uniforms. Post pictures of yourself.
I will be on Leanne's show at 1 o'clock. And then I'll be back on for tea time. So let's have some fun today. Let's get our cars cleaned out. And, you know, let's quit eating sugar. Let's quit eating sugar. Commit to that. Make the commitment to... I, when I see a cup of sugar or a spoon of sugar going in, I say to myself, I wouldn't put cocaine in my body. I wouldn't put alcohol like that in my body. Let's commit to letting go of the sugar. I love you all. I'll see you later.